Sabing umiikot ang mundo Sa minutong kaw ay matanaw ko O kamahalan, puso ko'y iyong tanan Sa iyong kagandahan, hindi makayanan O kamahalan, puso ko'y iyong tanan Pagsisigaw Sang kalawakan nagagalang sa yung harapan o kamahalan. The evening gown competition begins with Maspate. Growing up a miracle child, I've always felt the pressure to make my life mean something, to prove that I am worthy of all that I am blessed with. When doubts come, I remind myself, I am worthy. I am blessed, and so I will share my blessings. I am empowered, and so I will empower others. After my mom passed away, I was faced with an eating disorder and anxiety. I would look myself in the mirror and call myself ugly. I am glad that I discovered that I don't want to be that person anymore. It wasn't an easy journey, but I definitely came out stronger. Coming back to Miss Universe Philippines is no small feat. I had to face expectations and carry the burden of my past mistakes. I knew I did good last time, but I know I can be greater. This time, I've taken my journey into my own hands. I saw where I needed to put in the work and define my purpose so that I can become greater for myself, the crown, and the Philippines. Misamis Oriental. Just last year, my dad went through depression. I struggled so much because someone I love so deeply turned into someone I could no longer recognize, and my family had to split apart. However, despite that, I am here. If the word strength was a person, it would be me. Manila. I had to take time off college because I was struggling with depression. Thanks to my friends and family, they reignited my will to fight and live. Now I will champion against mental health stigma and empower each and every individual. I'll buy. Greatness begins beyond our comfort zones. After having chicken pox in 2020, I lost my confidence and self-belief, but I know that beauty doesn't come from the outside, but on the inside. And now here I am overcoming my insecurities and showing the universe what I've got. Cavite. As a female working in a male-dominated profession, being underestimated was inevitable. Understanding that being a woman was not my weakness, but my strength enabled me to thrive. I am Victoria Velasquez Vincent, an architect and project manager, and I defied the status quo to be greater. Angeles City. The pandemic crashed so many dreams, which sadly included mine. After flying for an airline for three years, I was retrenched. 
This forced me to find new sources of support for myself and for my family. Despite the pain, I have become someone who is not afraid to embrace the new. Truly, there are so many things that can only be learned through a storm. Mandaluyo. Having been stuck in a foreign country, unsure of when I'll be able to come home due to the pandemic was a terrifying experience. But I remained courageous and determined amidst all the uncertainty, and I was able to finally come home. Tagig. I lost a dear friend a couple of weeks ago, Emmett, who was Mr. Island, and he was the kind of soul that endured bullying. And I was deeply saddened and found myself at loss, but I realized that for us to overcome adversity, we need to remind ourselves that we are humans and have emotions so that we can begin healing and gain our strengths back to achieve true greatness in life. Cebu Province. are probably the most judged women. I had my fair share of harsh words and hate online. At first, it has made me feel less, but I know myself and my strengths, and with the love and support from everyone, I know I am bound for greatness. Laguna. I was booed in front of a crowd during my first pageant. That made me question my self-worth and started to doubt myself all the time. However, I was able to rebuild my confidence by channeling my energy through pageantry and by believing in myself. Today, I choose to be stronger. I am Laren May Magnaya Bautista and I am conditioned for greater. Paranyake. Coming into the world of pageantry straight out of left field, so many people turned me down, assuming I wasn't good enough. But with lost opportunities came newfound strength, courage, and confidence. This is the new Ingrid, and I am conditioned for greater. Romblon. This year broke me in the worst way possible. My father had stroke, so I have to take responsibility and be the bigger person. And with that, one great lesson is learned, that overcoming this challenge makes my life more meaningful. San Juan. Going into this pageant, I heard so many versions of, you don't belong here. But every day, I woke up deciding that yes, I do, and that I can be greater. And now I walk on this stage knowing that I was right about me. Cebu City. In the height of the pandemic, I experienced a difficult time just as everybody else but it didn't stop me from joining the Philippine Navy Marines Reserve Force to offer my service to those in need. Greatness is when you learn to value the people around you, especially those who need it most.